In previous video, we saw how to insert data into our MongoDB database. We'll have a small recap of that. We have Mongo's here module. We have our index.html, which is where we have our form for the user to enter email ID, name, and his or her age. We have we are connecting to the company database. We also have two middlewares that is body parser and method override. We have our schema here. Remember inside underscore ID we are storing email which is a string type data. We have also created a mod model and assigned the named collection that is EMP to our schema. So once the user hits submit, all the data is submitted to slash new route wherein I'm creating a new user object and passing in our user entered data that is email, name and age. Once it has been saved, it redirects to slash view wherein I need to fetch all the registered user and how to display. So that is today's video that is fetching data out of our MongoDB database collection. Remember, it's collection not tables so the method we use is find user is our object user dot find first parent first argument is empty parenthesis here which signifies object it retrieves everything if you don't specify particular condition and a callback method wherein if there is an error we just display out the json to the browser because it is development environment if fetching has been successful we render a template uh, well i'll open up my template file which is present inside our views that is index.j inside our plain text editor that is notepad well let me continue here first so render that index file you need not mention j because by default, our view engine has been specified as Jade. And now pass the object users by assigning docs to it. That is the results which we have fetched out of our collection. So we have an ordered list. Loop through the users object and fetch individuals, individual users name and print it out inside list items. Now turn on your mongodb server and execute your node.js application well there are no errors so let's visit the root of our website so this is it now i'll enter an email id which is already present inside my database once I hit submit, the error that is duplicate key has been entered will be shown. Nice. Now I'll enter a fresh email address, name and age. Remember email ID is the key here in our application. So it redirects to slash views route and so it renders the name of the user. Now I'll, I'll display the age of the user. Oops. Why? Well, it's not name. That is user dot age. Now it should work. Refresh the page. Okay. Name and age. Now also display the email address. Remember, email is present inside underscore ID, not email. So underscore ID key. See inside our schema. So refresh and we have it. So this is how you fetch data out of your MongoDB database. So a quick recap. Here we have our form which is present inside the public directory index.html. You have email, name, age. Once the user submits, it redirects to slash new route wherein we create a new user object and pass in the user submitted email name and age and save it to the to the database if the save is successful if the insertion is successful it will 
redirect to slash view wherein we have our find method which fetches all the data and displays. If you want a, only a particular data to be displayed, for example, if underscore ID is Kiran at Gmail, only his data will be retrieved. If you leave it empty, it signifies like select star in SQL command. So if you leave it empty, it will fetch all the users. So coming up, we will see how to edit and also delete the data out of our MongoDB database. Please stay subscribed to technotip.com. Also share this video with your friends on Google+, LinkedIn, Twitter, StumbleUpon, Facebook, etc. And don't forget to like this video on YouTube.